Several years ago, physicist Enrico Fermi posed a simple yet profound question. Where are they? Question that has puzzled anyone for decades, and after years of exploration, we find ourselves at a crossroad of optimism and pessimism. On one side, there may be thriving alien civilizations waiting to be discovered. On the other, there is the possibility that we are alone in the vastness of the universe. Before we kick things off with revealing solutions, drop a comment and tell me where you stand on this topic. Let's say there are civilizations out there roaming the galaxies at speeds we just can't match up right now, existing far longer than we do. In the cosmic journey of evolution, when a civilization attains the ability to regulate its planet's ecosystem, it may opt to establish natural reserves and national sanctuaries where humans and animals coexist in distinct spheres, like on Earth. Similarly, in the grand scale of the cosmos, extraterrestrial societies may have decided to let us develop naturally, observing our advancements from afar. This notion, known as the zoo hypothesis, hinges on the concept that they will not interfere in our affairs. If this is happening, then it's obvious. We are not advanced enough to be part of cosmic society. Yeah, that hurts. This would mean that aliens are way more developed, and we cannot detect them easily as they are watching our every step. Thus, they won't show themselves to us until we reach the point of being worthy of their attention. For now, forget the zoo hypothesis. What if aliens are already broadcasting their presence, although we can't tune it in? SETI, or the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, is counting on this solution. With a little imagination, it's easy to think of a number of reasons why we haven't been able to communicate with aliens. Numerous ways of sending information throughout universe definitely exist. They might use neutrinos or lasers to communicate across the galaxy in a kind of galactic internet. Complex algorithms that we don't understand, gamma ray bursts that we can't detect, or even at speeds so high it would fry out our most capable satellites. Humans have been searching for signals from extraterrestrial life for less than 100 years using techniques that aliens may have abandoned millions of years ago, or perhaps skipped altogether. The chance that our method of communication aligns perfectly with an alien civilization's method begins to look slim. Before we will delve deeper, there is one communication method that works, that is to subscribe to let me know that you like this video. What if we can receive and tune in on aliens broadcast? If it was possible to do so, this solution would have only one flaw. Even communication rays cannot travel faster than light. The diameter of our galaxy is over 150,000 light years. We have been broadcasting radio signals for just over a century, so our presence could only be detected within a radius of about 100 light years around the Earth, laughable for space standards. Same applies for alien civilizations. If they are on the other corner of the Milky Way and started broadcasting 500 years ago, still, it wouldn't be enough for signal to reach us. To add, back then we were still using candles as a light source. In 2016, a certain study estimated parameters on the distribution of stars in the Milky Way galaxy and the possible frequency of the existence of life, and concluded that only 1% of the galaxy may have already been covered by radio transmissions from different planets and suggested we will still have to wait about 1,500 years to have a decent chance of being reached by alien broadcast. Although this applies only if extraterrestrials are really far away from us. In contrast of aliens being closer to us than we thought, it could be well in near future that we will receive signals from them. Maybe we already did. But, well, that's secret. These mind-bending solutions could be true, but there is possibly a scientific one, too. This solution delves into the probability of habitable worlds evolving. It was researched and concluded that when Earth emerged from the early solar system's protoplanetary disk approximately 4.6 billion years ago, it did so during a time when only 8% of the potentially habitable planets that will ever form in the universe existed. This implies that the universe still had 92% of its journey left before it depletes the essential resources needed to create stars, which, in turn, give rise to planets. These planets could be perfectly suited for evolution of an intelligent alien life. Subsequently, 
The conditions to support extraterrestrials have only recently fallen into place, recently meaning in cosmic timeline, of course. All of this scientific research pose a question, what if humanity is first civilization to ever exist? As Earth formed quite early, it could be possible. Maybe it will be us overseeing less advanced civilizations in future, as in zoo hypothesis. However, everything might end as we will perish. Cosmos is not very hostile place, and pretty much anything could trigger our extinction. Heck, we might even do it ourselves, which is unfortunately more likely. Time will go on, and other civilization will possibly be born and cycle could repeat. Some scientists suggest another solution to Fermi paradox, which proposes that similar extinction happened to civilization before us. Those extinct civilizations could have been pretty amazing in terms of technology and biological advancements, although by some chance, they perished, leaving some fragments behind, a perfect chance for us to discover them. Nevertheless, we will explore a bit more peaceful answer to Fermi paradox up next. Upon achieving a second type of Kardashev civilization, an advanced extraterrestrial intelligence may forsake grand ambitions of exploring outer space. Once a Dyson Sphere is established, an alien society would find itself with vast amount of energy and possibilities to simulate entire universes within universes and lifetimes within lifetimes on a massive supercomputer. Compared to that, universe is not worth the lives and time spent. It's plausible that space would recede into the background. These lazy civilizations wouldn't explore space or broadcast signals into it. So finding them in this vast universe is almost an impossible task. What if we are living in that simulation? These civilizations could do pretty much anything with the laws and designs of our universe, or there really isn't a true universe out there. It just appears that way to us within our simulated bubble. It might be even programmed so we are alone and won't find anyone, ever. This is by far the scariest solution. Arguably, pessimistic one may be even worse. For the pessimists' side, it's pretty obvious. There are no aliens, and we are living alone. Even worse, what if we will be only civilization to exist in universe and die with it? That could be also one of the possibilities, considering that even life on Earth evolved by miracle. Pessimists directly imply that all of the optimistic solutions are not likely to be true, and we are simply alone. For time being, there is no evidence for either one of those sides. Although pessimists could say they are right as we didn't make contact with aliens. Should we say yet? I hope you liked a little philosophy this time, and if you want to know more of proven and actual facts about stars, check this video.